It can be done, I promise you. And it can even be done well if you have enough time on your hands. That's right, you can draw in Adobe Photoshop without a drawing tablet or a graphics tablet. And it's easy too. The short answer, use the pen tool. Oh, I love the pen tool, the pen tool. Okay, I didn't have a dice handy, so I used a six-sided eraser to randomly decide which character to draw. And the lot landed on Sonic the Hedgehog, a cartoon character and video game that I used to play, and it is quite a fun one. Anyway, here is what you need to draw a picture in Photoshop with using a mouse. First, start out with a sketch. So you need a paper and you need a pencil. And you're also gonna need a camera. No, no fancy scanner needed, but a camera will do just fine if you have the good sunlight. I am getting a little bit ahead of myself. Take that paper and your pencil and make a little sketch. Put all the details you want, you know, just get, get down the basic lines. It's okay if it's a little rough. We can do the perfections later. And go ahead and draw yourself a picture. Once you get that done, we'll move on to the next step. My advice, go outside in the sunlight um, and take a picture with that great natural lighting. It'll be best uh, quality. You don't have as many shadows in the paper. And take it back inside, put it on the computer. Now you have your image scanned. So step number whatever we're on. Uh, next step, open up Photoshop. I like to do just start with the size of my monitor for my canvas. I don't know why, uh, but I do. And get yourself uh, set up here. So we're gonna start with, or should I say by, importing the picture that we took into Photoshop. I don't know how to do it from the file menu, so we're gonna open up um, Windows Explorer. Nope, it's called File Explorer. Navigate to that picture and just drag it right into Photoshop and it'll just attach it as a new layer, put it right on top. So you can rotate it if you need, resize it, and go ahead and click the check mark at the top to lay that in there. Now, what I'm gonna do is some brightness and contrast. So go up into image, adjustments, brightness and contrast, and make it just a little more contrast and a little less bright so I can see the lines a little bit better. Now, I'm actually gonna turn the opacity down a little bit on this layer. Now, I'm going to lock that layer so I don't draw on it, create a new layer and name this line art. Next, go over here to the paths window. And if you don't see it, you can go up to window and down to paths and open it up that way. This is how we utilize this pen tool over here on the left hand side. They go hand in hand. You can create lines and it'll make a layer on the paths. And as you do so, you'll want to name each layer, each path layer and create more than one path layers to kind of stay organized and to make sure that they don't disappear because sometimes they like to automatically disappear. Now using the pen tool or P on, a, on a Windows, uh, that's the shortcut, you can click and drag and create these curvy lines, these beziers, these uh, shapes around the outline of your character. I like to go around the outline first and do that in a, in a thicker brush and I'll show you that here in a minute. As you go around, you can click and drag to create curves and alt click to curve just half of the selection or just half of the, uh, the line here. And in doing so, create all the shapes you need. Now here's the fun part. Once you have something outlined in pen, go to your layers and make sure that you're on your line art layer. Then you can go to the brush tool. And in this case, I'm gonna use the pencil tool because I like that it has a little bit crisper edges and it'll make coloring this even easier. And since we only have a mouse, easy is best, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna make the size of it. I'm gonna do the outline, oh, let's say three pixels. Now go back over here to the paths window, this tab, and here's the important button right here. It says outline path with brush, click that. And as long as you are on the brush tool with the size you want and select it on this layer, this path layer right here, it'll outline it with what uh, you chose. And I'm gonna name this head, create a new layer, name it appropriately. In this case, I'll just do his hair and go ahead back to the pen tool and continue tracing it. And it's okay if you kind of overlap some of your other drawings. The point is you get the shapes down. You can always erase later. So here I'm going along, continuing with my pen tool, creating paths around the rest of him and uh, coloring it in with that uh, outline, or what was it? Fill path with brush uh, button, which is super great. Now when you get to a, a place, like maybe you want to do it on one layer, like the face, but they are not continuous lines, you can, like I'm doing here, go to the 
path selection tool, which is just A on the keyboard, and click anywhere in the canvas to deselect the line you are currently creating. And then go back to the pen tool and create a new line anywhere on the canvas. It won't be touching the other line, but it'll be on the same layer. And you can then outline them all at once. And for these facial features, I like to do a thinner, um, the details with a thinner brush. And just like this, go along creating new layers, new path layers, and outlining them. You can do the line art of your entire character, all without using a tablet, ladies and gentlemen. It's pretty amazing. Um, I wish I would have known about this before I had a tablet. I mean, fair warning, uh, honest, honest moment. I do have a tablet and I love it and, and you know that and it's a great tool. I'm not discounting the tablet, but I just think it's great that you don't have to have one to do art in Photoshop. Now, <laughs> whether this will be great art at the end, well, that's for you to decide, but you know, I guess just how much time you want to spend on it. And the point is that it can be done. And so that's my little soapbox about how cool the pen tool is. Let's get back to this. So just like that, we have drawn art or line arted. <laughs> that's not a word. We have done the line art for our character. Now I turned off the background layer, the line next to that layer that had my sketch and I create a new layer and call that color. So now this is where we get to drop in the color. Um, now to do it easy, you can just click on the paint bucket tool or G on the keyboard and find the right colors that you need. You can look at the reference image and choose them over here on your color palette. Um, you might not be able to see this if it's not, if you don't have the same view as mine, but go into your colors and drop them in. And because the pixel, because the pencil tool is what I use instead of the brush, it has these very crisp edges and the, lining, the, the coloring will be very easy. It'll just fill it, fill it in pretty uh, smoothly and fluidly and you can go along and do all that. Now, one of the benefits of keeping your path lines, your path layers um, saved and naming them appropriately is if you need to go back and use them like I did for the pupils. The paths that I had for the eyes, I went to my brush tool, changed the color, click that save button, outline path with brush, and then I outlined it in a green brush and I was able to get his iris. And with all the details, um, you can now, once you have them in, go back to that line art layer and you can use the brush tool and with a mouse, you know, it's a little tedious, but you can hand clean things up. You can do some smaller details with black lines. You can use the eraser on the line art layer to make the line art have variable width. Like you can erase some of the, the tips the edges make them kind of go into a uh, you know a thinner edge <laughs> now next thing is create a new layer and you can go in get the brush tool i like to do shading with brush not the pencil tool go back to the brush tool that we haven't used yet and change the opacity to say uh, 25 percent or something black color use the wand tool which is w on the keyboard select the areas the colors that you want to tackle each at a time and then just go over with your mouse and brush a light black color over this character. Now again, you're on another layer. Make sure you're on a new layer, that call it like shadows or shade, whatever. Highlights even, you can do white, same technique, and just start brushing over with this transparent black or white and get these deeper highlights and shadows and bring it out even more. Um, again, that wand tool is very helpful to select just the areas you want. And Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> it's pretty great. And that is how to draw in Photoshop without a tablet. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it turned out pretty good. And I would be curious to see what you did. So try it out. And please, remember to smile. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my other videos. I have a bunch on art recently. And you can follow me on Instagram, forbrass.art at instagram.com, or however that works these days. If you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss my next videos because it's going to be a good time. Um, as always, I'd love to hear in the comments below. Please, have a good day, and I'll see you next time.